Greetings, everybody. It's Pastor Graham here. I have missed seeing all of you in the house of God. I have missed worshiping together with you, fellowshipping with you. I know it's only been three months or a little more, but it seems like it's been a whole year since we've been together to worship. And I can't wait until we can do it again. The COVID-19 virus has turned out to be a very serious illness. And it's been deadly for some people, especially the elderly people, people that are 80 years, 90 years old. The death rate for them has been very high. And also there's people that have certain medical conditions that are also in a very vulnerable uh, section of the population. People that have high blood pressure, people that have heart disease, people that have diabetes, people with respiratory issues like asthma and COPD and obesity. Uh, many of the people who have passed away from this uh, COVID-19 virus have had these underlying ca causes behind uh, their death. So uh, this is a very serious illness. And I want to speak to you briefly today about the gradual reopening of churches, including our own. And first of all, it's important for you to understand that there is no complete opening of the church yet. The government has issued guidelines stating it's permitting reopening of churches under certain conditions. First of all, no gatherings of more than 50 people. Secondly, those people who do come must respect the conditions that the government has laid down, and that is their social distancing, two meters between individuals. If they're from the same family, they can stay together, but they must distance themselves two meters from any other people. Masks are to be worn by the people as they come in and as they are in the building. Uh, the only exceptions will be when praise singers are singing and the preachers and interpreters are preaching. Uh, otherwise, uh, we are to be wearing masks. The reason being, of course, singing uh, projects vapors much further into the air than just talking. The two meter distance is because people, when they talk, vapors are projected about uh, six feet or two meters away. But when people begin to sing, they're using much more effort and projecting their vapors further away. So, so also it is with a preacher. Or if you begin to shout, it also projects much further. So you have to understand why we are asking people to wear masks. It's actually the government who is asking people to wear the mask. Uh, hand washing and sanitizing of your hands, very important. You will be asked when you come through the door, use the hand sanitizer. Uh, if you leave and go to the washroom, You'll have to wash your hands, sanitize your hands. If you are ill with a fever, a cough, a runny nose, sneezing, or you have an upset stomach, diarrhea, anything like this, please remain at home. Do not come. No shaking of hands, no fist bumping, no hugging, no kissing, not even on one cheek. And let me clarify, this is the regulations for the people who are going to be here as part of the broadcast crew. We cannot open the church publicly yet because we have on Sunday morning over 500 people who usually show up for our morning church and Sunday school. Uh, 50 people is only one-tenth of that. By the time we have our technicians, by the time we have our broadcast crew and the preachers and the praise singers and music team, we've already used up a portion of that. And so we, we cannot open up the church to everybody. We would like to but it's against the rules and regulations. And then if, even if we have space for 30 extra people, uh, we can't just say, well, come to church and the first 30 people who get here, we will let you come in because we know that isn't gonna work. Some people will be spiritual about it. Many people may be carnal about it and we don't want to project carnality. And so we want to make that clear that the, the, uh, the the government has allowed this 50 so we can get in with our broadcast crew, praise and worship team, but we cannot allow the congregation to come in yet. There will be a day when that's going to be allowed. And so there are two reasons especially that we are asking you to respect the government regulations. Number one, if we are inspected and we don't measure up to the requirements, we could get shut down again. And for how long, who knows? Maybe for a long, long time. They closed us down before because they said we weren't measuring up to the requirements. Even though we were uh, in the judgment of the police who came, they said we were not, and they closed us down. And we have been closed down now, as you know, for several months. Now we've got the opportunity to be back here in the house of God 
We don't want to mess it up. Uh, secondly, in some cases, people have a virus, the COVID virus, and don't even know they have it because they're asymptomatic. And they could come to the house of God and feel fine, but they could be a carrier of the virus and they could pass it on to someone else and make someone else ill. Even in our own apostolic churches, there have been people that have got sick and passed away from the virus that they caught in the church. And so we, we don't want that to happen. So we ask if you could please respect the regulations. And we're so looking forward to the day we can all get back together here in the house of the Lord and worship God together and pray together. And it will happen, but not yet. So we ask you to please be, be patient, stay tuned uh, for further details as we get them, as we get permission from the authorities. We will be live streaming from the sanctuary starting again this Sunday, June 28th, with live praise and worship, with live preaching of the Word of God here in the sanctuary. And so we're asking you to join with us and worship and pray along with us. And the day will come when we can open the doors and everybody can come back here and we can shout and praise the Lord as before. God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Peace of the Lord be with you.